This is a video on how to set up your ReadWorks account and how to assign reading passages digitally to your students through Google Classroom. So the first thing that you want to do is go to readworks.org. If you don't have an account, click on sign up and then you'll fill in this section and then click on get started. To log in, just click on log in Type in your email address and your password, and then click Login. The first thing that you'll want to do is set up your classes. And to do that, you'll click on Class Admin. The easiest way to create a class is to import it from Google Classroom. So you will click on Import from Google Classroom. Select the account that you want to sign in as. And now you choose the Google Classroom that you want to import. So I'm going to import my Albert Pike class. Sixth grade, sorry, fifth grade. And now I want to leave this box checked because it automatically publishes assignments to Google Classroom by default. So now I want to import my class. And then I get a message box that appears that says, please make all changes to ReadWorks assignments on the ReadWorks site. If you make those changes in Google Classroom, the assignments in ReadWorks will not be updated. So that's very important to remember to make all of your changes within the ReadWorks site. Now I'll just hit OK. And I see that all of my students from Pike that are in my Pike Google Classroom have been imported onto my ReadWorks roster. And now I have some options. Um, my most important option is that I'm able to set up groups here so I can immediately differentiate what I'm assigning to my students. So my first group is the blue group. And I need to select those students. And then I'll select create a group again. And this is my red group. And I need to select those students. And I can create as many groups as I want. And now I click on save. Now I have my groups made. I have my roster done. I need to go ahead and find my content. For this assignment, I want to search for the Tons of Trash article that was included in the PBS curriculum. And it's the first one that pops up. It's a fourth grade reading level. It's a 1090 Lexile level. There are 620 words. It's a nonfiction passage. It has one set of questions and three vocabulary words. So now I can open that passage. And right up top, I see that there's an option for it to, for it to read to the students. So they click on that and the entire passage is read to them. Once they're finished with that, they can select to, uh, to go to the vocabulary words. It defines them. It says them out loud for the students. And then there, uh, there's a question set. And this is what the students will see after it's assigned to them, except for they won't have the option to see the answer. That's just so you can see the answer as you're setting it up. So now I want to assign this passage to my students. So I'll click on Assign. I want the students to have the option of it being read to them, so I'll click on Audio. I want the questions to be there. I want the vocabulary. And now I'm going to add one vocabulary activity for the word pollute. Need to verify it's going to the correct class. And now I need to decide who I want to assign it to. Does it need to go to the whole class, just to specific students, or to the group? If I choose specific students, it will just let me click on which students I want it to be assigned to. If I click on group, I can choose do I want to go to the blue group or the red group. And I can, um, so I can choose more than one group for it to go to. But for this assignment, I do want it to go to the whole class because it is 
uh, remote instruction. So it's going to all the students since that's what's on the PBS curriculum. And now I'll click to have it published to Google Classroom stream. So it will automatically go to my Google Classroom. And then I click the start date, which is today, but I could change that. My due date, I want that due on Friday. And now I click assign. I'm gonna give it just a minute. So now I can verify what I've assigned, who I assigned it to, that it got published to Google Classroom, the assignment start date, the assignment due date, and then I can click OK. Now, to view my assignment in ReadWorks, I can just go up to the top and click on Assignments and Progress. Now I see what has been assigned, and then if I click on Class Results, I can see what student has done what on this assignment. When I go back to assignments, over on the right hand side, I can click on options and that allows me to change the due date, hide results from students, or to delete the assignment. When I click on my Google Classroom, I see that that assignment got assigned up top it's at the very top of my Google Classroom, but it was not organized under a topic. So I need to go in there and I want to edit. And then over on the right hand side, I want to pick my AMI week two, April 6th through 10th. And then I want to save that. And this is what your students will see when they click on the assignment. They'll need to sign into their account using their uh, Fort Smith Public Schools account. And then they'll be taken to the passage. Here's the vocabulary. Here are the questions. When the students are finished, they'll click on next. And then at the very end, they will submit their work, and once they submit it, you will see it under your assignments in ReadWorks. So that is how to set up your ReadWorks account, how to import your Google Classroom into ReadWorks, how to differentiate your uh, reading assignments, and how to assign the digital version of the ReadWorks passage in the PBS curriculum to your students.